my name is Birdie and I am your friendly neighborhood forest witch and in today's video I'm going to be crafting a money altar. Now I still characterize myself as a newer witch. I started practicing September of 2020 so I'm still delving into the craft and figuring things out but I thought with St. Patrick's Day coming up that I would bring you all along with me as I craft my very first money altar. But before we get into that, let me show you some of the items that I've chosen for the money altar. First up is this beautiful ceramic dish that I found at the thrift store. I thought this would be perfect, especially since it's green and green stands for money and prosperity. But yeah, I thought this was so beautiful and I'm going to be using this as my money bowl. And then next up, I'm also going to be using some green candles. So this bigger one here, I'm actually going to be anointing and practicing with. And then these smaller ones in the shape of shamrocks, I'm just going to place around the altar. And then I also picked up some anointing oil and incense, and these are from Jace's Apothecary. So I will leave her business information in the description down below if you wanna check her out. But this is so beautiful, this oil. And inside she put cinnamon, bergamot, clove, and tiger's eye crystals. And then as far as the incense, this is actually an herb blend and she included basil, frankincense, sandalwood, vervain, mugwort, pansy, clove, and cinnamon. So I definitely can't wait to use these. And then as far as herbs go, I want to use some cinnamon sticks because they are good for luck, money, prosperity, abundance, passion, and speed. And then while I was researching things that are good for a money altar, especially herbs, it said about using bay leaves. And bay leaves, you can actually write your goal or manifestation on the leaf and then use it in your spell. So that's what I'm gonna do. And bay leaves are good for prosperity, manifestation, success, and luck. And then I'm also going to be using some coffee beans because coffee is good for speeding up spells and clearing mental and spiritual blockages like my need to overspend. So I'm hoping that the coffee will break down those blockages between me and overspending and help me build healthy boundaries between me and money. And then we couldn't have a money altar without some lucky tokens. So I have my ethically sourced rabbit foot here. I have been carrying these things around since I was really little. I really resonate with them. So I thought this would be perfect to add to the money altar. I also have a smashed penny that I got when I traveled to New Orleans. And I actually, when I was doing research, it said that if one of your money goals is to travel, it's good to use foreign money on your money altar. However, I don't have any right now, so I thought this would work just as good. Then when I was in New Orleans, I actually picked up some of these small little tokens and I've always characterized these as lucky. So I'll be placing these on my altar as well. And then we couldn't have a money altar without a four leaf clover. So I actually made this little four leaf clover necklace myself. I had found a four leaf clover, purchased the pendant and the necklace chain from Michaels, and then placed the four leaf clover in here and put some resin over top. So I thought that would be perfect for the money altar as well. And then as far as crystals go, I'm actually going to be using jade, which is good for luck, power, and prosperity. I think these crystals are so beautiful. And of course they're green, so they're gonna go perfect. And then I'm also going to be using citrine, which is actually known as the prosperity stone. And it's actually my favorite crystal 
this one here is my favorite crystal that I own. I think it is so beautiful. And the this crystal is good for attracting prosperity, wealth, and success. And then I personally couldn't have a money altar without a live shamrock plant. Now, when I was doing research, it said that other people actually do put live plants on their money altar to bring prosperity and growth. So I thought with St. Patrick's Day coming up and just my love for all things green and plants, that it would be perfect to have a shamrock plant on there. And then of course, we couldn't have a money altar without money. <laughs> so I have these two huge jars that I've been slowly trying to save up to go to Ireland. Now, if you've watched my channel for a while, you'll know that St. Patrick's Day is my favorite holiday and I absolutely love Ireland. Now, I've never been to Ireland, but it's definitely a huge goal of mine. So one of the main things that I'll be focusing on with this money altar is trying to get to Ireland. And my goal is to get there by next year. And also, since I am an overspender, I do have a lot of debt, unfortunately, but I know that trying to decrease that debt, pay that debt off, it's going to take longer than a year. So I am giving myself at least five years to try and get debt free. So those are my two main goals for this money altar. So without further ado, let's try to manifest those things and set up this altar.
And this is how the money altar turned out. I think it is so pretty and I definitely love the pop of green. This little ledge here is underneath the window in my bedroom. So it'll be the first thing I see in the morning and will help me keep my money goals in my mind's eye. So it's the first thing that I think about in the morning. But before I end this video, I wanted to go over the days of the week and which days are best for certain money goals. So Monday is known as the moon's day and it's a good day for general working. So typically any money goals can be worked on Monday. Tuesday is known as the Mars day. It's very passionate and intense, driven and fast money come on Tuesday. So money also comes from things that make you passionate. So for example, I'm going to be working my money altar on Tuesdays because I wanna start increasing my income from the things I'm passionate about. So my YouTube channel, writing, uh, doing crafts and selling them in the future and things like that. Wednesday is Mercury's day and it's the day of communication and travel. So for example, this would be a good day to work a money goal. Say you're asking for a raise or like I want to go to Ireland. So I would be working my money altar on Wednesdays for travel. And then Thursday is Jupiter's day. Jupiter is known for finances and is typically a good money day in general. It's good for stability and big purchases. So I'm also going to be working my money altar on Thursdays because going to Ireland could be pretty pricey and also my debt is pretty high. So that would fall under that category as well. Fridays is Venus's day. It's the day of love. So if you're saving up for a wedding or saving money to do things with people you love or for people you love, this would be a good day to work your money altar then. Then Saturday is Saturn's day, which is known for binding and boundaries. So it's a good day for people with negative spending habits and it helps you be more intentional with your money. So you're putting boundaries between yourself and your finances. So I'll definitely be working my money altar this day for my debt relief. And then last but not least is Sunday. And Sunday is the day of the sun and it's good for clarity and expansion and growth. So I'd say an example of this would be if you are investing in stocks or the housing market or something you want clarity regarding money on. But that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas for your money altar. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.